Well, several Tulsa organizations are doing everything they can to make sure that people have a warm place to stay away from the brutal cold. Karen, yeah, like one of those organizations where I am here, the Tulsa Day Center, providing some much needed shelter. There are hundreds of volunteers working at warming stations and emergency shelters across the city. Actually, we have some members of a church that are feeding the 85 people who are going to be staying here overnight. I got a chance to stop by several of those shelters today, and I actually talked with one man staying with an emergency shelter across town. He told me it's a lifesaver. I'm originally not from here, so adapting to the weather in general is hard, but this is brutal. I've never experienced anything like it, becoming more optimistic. Anderson Sockmitney stayed at the Merchant Tulsa overnight and plans to be there a few more days as the frigid temperatures and wind chills stick around. Beyond thankful, yeah. And they feed us so wonderfully and treat us kind of more like a family member than, than actual numbers on the streets. He says he never planned to be on the streets when he moved to Tulsa two years ago, but is grateful the merchant opened its doors for him and dozens of others. It's an absolute lifesaver. I saw men and women inside the merchant today getting food and relaxing in the warm building. Did you take the bus down here today? John Most, pastor at City of Hope Outreach, is helping run the center. The moisture kind of came in first, so people get wet and then they get cold. It's just, that is a deadly combination. His organization brought 50 to 60 people out of the cold Wednesday and continues to answer calls and coordinate rides with housing solutions to make sure homeless people have a place to go. It's the reason warming stations like at American Legion Post One have opened their doors. We wanted to be helpful to the community, especially those who have nowhere to get warm. Joseph Meyer is the post commander. He had plenty of volunteers on hand, along with warm drinks and blankets to pass out. We're veterans and we have a heart of service. The post will be open again Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Back over at the merchant, they'll be housing people until Christmas morning. Emergency conditions, it's a blessing to have extra places like this to open up overnight and uh, offer similar facilities as the shelters. And here at the Tulsa Day Center, they are sheltering people both day and night, 24 seven, making sure that they have a warm place to stay out of the cold. During the day here, they had about 280 people staying here. And I checked with the Salvation Army as well. They tell me they have about 280 people as well staying at their center of hope in downtown Tulsa.